Hey, it's Tuxedo Mark. It's uh, 4.37 p.m. on Wednesday, October 5th, 2022, and welcome to another BookTube video. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, and this one actually is books that I bought for myself, because I did get a few. Um, I want to show you... Okay, uh, most of these, uh, actually, yeah, mo these first ones are from Ollie's. Uh, first we got Buffy the Vampire Slayer Omnibus from Dark Horse. These are the comics from the early 2000s, the ones that, uh, they're not canon even though I don't consider any of the comics canon. But these were the ones that were produced during the show's run. Um, and they were collected by Dark Horse. Now, the comic license has passed to Boom Comics, and they've been reprinting the Dark Horse comics, but their uh, collections aren't as complete as the Dark Horse omnibuses. Omnibi? I don't know. But these are the more complete versions of the comics. So I got them at all least for five bucks each. These are uh, volumes four, five, and six. Um, so yeah, so they take place during the show. Um, Volume 4 ends uh, Season 3, and then uh, Volume 5 um, is basically Season 4, Volume 6 it takes place during Season 5. <laughs> okay, so that's that. I also got this, The Best of Betty's Diary. This is part of the Archie and Friends All-Stars reprints. They're like not digests and they're not the 32 page comics. They're kind of like really small trade paperbacks. So these are just collections of various stories from the Betty's Diary series, which ran in like the 80s, maybe to the early 90s. I'm not sure. I don't know what the exact run was, but it's, uh, these stories are more they're generally a bit more serious than the typical Archie comics. They, they have Betty reflecting on her life and stuff like that. So I thought it would be neat um, to get this. Now, for the big thing, I had gone to a thrift store in the area to donate some clothes. And then I decided to just pop in there and see uh, what they had. I browsed the books. And I saw these, I couldn't resist. Got a bunch of Nancy Drews. So, uh, let me try to get these in order. You got uh, number one, The Secret of the Old Clock. Number two, The Hidden Staircase, which apparently was made into a movie, so it makes sense to read this and then watch the movie. Number four, The Mystery at Lilac Inn. Number five, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Number 25, The Ghost of Blackwood Hall. Number 26, The Clue of the Leaning Chimney. Number 27, The Secret of the Wooden Lady. Number 28, The Clue of the Black Keys. Number 29, Mystery at the Ski Jump. 
So, I've never read Nancy, Nancy Drew, but I've watched the CW series. Actually, I've seen only season one. I think I missed an episode in that one as well. I gotta get caught up. But I enjoyed it. It was my introduction to the characters. I've never read the classic books, or any of the books for that matter. So these books, like, let's look at the first one. Uh, where's the copyright? Copyright 1987, 1959, and 1930. So there's been three copyrights on this. I know the, I've read that the books have been revised. They're like not how they were originally published. I would have to look into exactly what was changed. I'm guessing mostly references and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, these aren't very long. Which is good because I'm a very slow reader. Um, it looks, I guess the, these uh, were printed in the 80s. But anyway... Uh, like 180 pages for the first uh, novel. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, I look forward to just reading them casually. <laughs> and that's that. That's all that I got for myself. But stay tuned because next I've got a video for a little free library uh, donations. So, stay tuned for that. And it's... Uh, 4.44 p.m. and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.